the GTV. Today I will be showing you how to hook up a 12 or 24 volt DC motor to a KB Electronics KBBC drive with a 12 to 24 volt DC input. The drive I have in front of me is the KBBC 24M, which is a DC drive that is capable of taking a 12 or 24 volt signal in and outputting to a 12 or 24 volt DC motor. This type of drive can be powered by a battery or a power supply such as the one I have here. I will hook up my power supply's negative wire to the fast on negative terminal and the positive wire to the fast on positive terminal here. If I was wiring in some form of a circuit protection such as a fuse or a circuit breaker, I would install it on the positive side of these connections. My motor can be connected to the M1 and M2 fast on terminals with the M1 connected to the positive side of the motor and the M2 connected to the negative side of the motor. Both sides of the PC board terminals should be used when the application is over 20 amps. I will next wire in a speed reference using a speed pot or a signal input voltage. The jumper on J1 can select either a speed pot or voltage following. For voltage following, I will wire up the left side connections here with number four to a negative input and number five to the positive side of an isolated DC power source. For installing a potentiometer, I will wire it to numbers four, five, and six, with white being the low on four, the orange being the wiper on five, and the violet being the high on six. The potentiometer should be a minimum of 5K ohms. After the speed pot is installed, I will double check the J1 jumper to make sure that it is selected to pot. Also on this terminal block are connections to an optional electromagnetic brake with the black wire on one connecting to the negative side of the brake and the black wire on two connecting to the positive side. The red wire on three is used to connect to an optional key switch, which is also wired to the power supply on the positive side after the circuit breaker or fuse. If the connection is not made to a key switch, I will jump the wire to the Quick Connect B positive terminal. My last wire is for an inhibit switch. If this switch is closed, the motor will stop. For this demonstration, I will not connect the wire. My last terminal block on the right side is used to wire in my forward and reverse switches. I will be using the five wires to display three wiring configurations, which are selectable through jumpers J1 and J6. On wire one, I have the stop reverse with a brown wire. Wire two is the run reverse with a yellow wire. Wire three is the stop forward with the blue wire. Wire four is the run forward with the green wire, and the last wire is the common. Jumper 2 allows a selection between single ended and wigwag. This is the potentiometer settings with single ended having the zero reference at one end, whereas a wigwag, also known as bidirectional analog control, places the neutral or zero position at the center of the potentiometer. For wigwag connections, the J2 jumper should be set to WW and the J6 jumpers should have latch on. Setting up for wigwag only requires two connections with the brown wire on one and the blue wire on three. These two connections should be connected to a momentary switch that is also connected to the common on five. To reset the drive in this operation, the main speed pot must be returned to the center position. For setting up momentary switching with latching, I can set jumper J2 to SE and leave J6 on. The common can be wired to four contacts, such as push buttons with wires one, two, three, and four, wired on the other end of the contact. The run forward switch allows me to run the motor until I push the stop forward switch. The same works with the run reverse and stop reverse switch. This is ideal if the user wants total control of when the motor is on or off. 
The last configuration uses limit switches to override the forward or reverse settings. I can set J2 to SE and J6 to off. Then I will take the yellow wire on 2 and the green wire on 4 and wire this to a 3 position selector switch. This will make the switch a forward stop reverse switch. I can then wire the brown wire on 1 to a limit switch and the blue on 3 to another limit switch. When these switches are actuated they will override the forward stop reverse switch. These types of motors can be used with an application such as a movable seat in a car. Pushing the switch will adjust the seat forward or reverse. The other jumpers here can help control the functions of the trim pots. These trim pots can make adjustments such as timed brake delay, current limit, IR compensation, deceleration, acceleration, min speed, and max speed for forward and reverse. KBBC DC drives along with thousands of other products and services are available at Gelco.com.